chance to meet them. What's going on? Tell me about life. How are you? This is your white granddaddy come back to haunt me. What? Now this is my fault? <clears throat> so you want to marry my daughter? Yes. Yes, I do. Well, Ezra, you can try. Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2023 comedy, You People. The film is directed by Kenya Barris, and it stars Jonah Hill, who co-wrote the film with the director, uh, Lauren London, Eddie Murphy, Julia Louise Dreyfus, Sam Jay, Naya Long, and David Duchovny. Right, the film focuses on Jonah Hill's character Ezra and Laurel, Laurel London's character Amira, who are two people from very different backgrounds. Uh, obviously, Jonah Hill is white and Lauren London is black. They uh, meet, it's a, it's a meeting out of nowhere. He mistakes her for his Uber driver, um, and essentially they start dating and fall in love. Uh, they're soon comes a time for them both to meet the parents um, and Eddie Murphy Eddie Murphy's character Akbar who is a devout Muslim um, just will not accept Jonah Hill at all and he's a complete arse to him basically throughout much of this film and uh, Jonah Hill's parents Julia Louise Dreyfus and David Duchovny uh, really too enthusiastic to have Amira as a potential daughter-in-law um, to the point where they are being really cringy and um, <laughs> unknowingly racist sort of thing. Um, so they've got to try and work through these barriers, make the family dynamics work in order that they have a future together so that they can get married. Right, what are my thoughts on you people? Well, I saw the trailer for this uh, a few weeks ago now, and why I was initially excited to watch this is because it had Eddie Murphy in it, um, and I'm a big fan of Eddie Murphy. Generally speaking, anything Eddie Murphy does, I'm there. You know what I mean? I'm really interested to see what he does. Um, I think these days now he's choosing his projects a little bit more carefully, um, and for his age, he looks fantastic as well. You would not believe he's... 60 or he's about to turn 60 or he's in his 60s one of the three either way he does not look his age he looks great um so i was i was interested in checking it out for that reason essentially and i thought the premise looked interesting it certainly looked promising from the trailer and i think the first 30 minutes of this film i thought was really good really promising and had some bright moments in regards to fun uh, and it was quite amusing and funny at times and then there comes a time in the film where you're kind of like, hang on a minute, they're serious. It's one of those films that is, how can I put this? Basically, it's a remake of Meet the Parents, but with um, racial undertones. And um, it kind of gets that message home with a sledgehammer. Um, you know, the racial differences um, and the uh, subconscious racism that you know many people in society have and feel and so on and so forth now they play on that comedy early on in the film and it is genuinely funny at times you know to see julia louise Dreyfus and david Duchovny, you know going full-on overly over enthusiastic and completely putting the foot in it really it's really cringy and the, the first 30 minutes you're, you're watching it like that but you're still laughing because you feel like you're in on the joke and then as the film goes on and on and on you just kind of feel like i'm not comfortable laughing anymore um because you know what they're doing with this film and this message that it's giving out and it, it, it for me the social commentary got a bit much and it, it, it felt like I was being preached to at some point in this film. And I can't really pinpoint when that was, but I, I, it made me start to feel uncomfortable a little bit. Um, which I think is a real shame, But because I, I, I really do think this film had so much potential. I thought the chemistry between Jonah Hill and Laurel London, I thought was excellent. Really, really good. And then you add Eddie Murphy into the mix of that. I, I mean, you should have Sparks. Um and it just never spark they, they never kind of let eddie murphy loose in this film it's a very restrained performance by him 
Um, I mean, even, you know, they, they let Robert De Niro have fun in Meet the Parents, but they don't let Eddie Murphy have fun. It's like Meet the Parents, but with no fun from the parents other than um, uh, uh, Jonah Hill's parents in the film. They're made to look like buffoons, basically. Um, and Eddie Murphy and his wife in the film are not made to look buffoons. And I'm not saying they should have been made to look by, like buffoons. Um, he's very, very serious for the most part. He cracks a couple of jokes here and there, but he's, he, he never smiles or anything really in the film, Eddie Murphy. It's a, it's a strange performance, but it's a good performance. Um, and so it's, it's, an odd, it's an odd one, this. It's, at times it genuinely does feel like the remade Meet the Parents. Um... And then it, it kind of feels like they've, they've said, Meet the Parents, that was a great, great film. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How can we make that relevant to today's audience? And they thought, ah, well, what if we do it this way? Um, and it's like, yeah, okay. And I, I genuinely think this film had an awful lot of potential. And I'm not saying I disliked it, because I didn't. There were moments in this film where I was genuinely amused and I thought it was funny. And I thought there was some good heart and emotion in it here and there. Um, and I think if they'd have kind of not hammered the message home sort of thing, I think it would have made it a little bit more enjoyable. It just felt like I was I was in a training course or something like that. You know what I mean? At times, it just just didn't feel entertaining at some at some point, which is a shame. And it, and it got very predictable as well. It followed that very, very... Similar pattern as what you get. Meet the parents and films like this all the time. You know, you meet the parents, it all goes terribly wrong. It leads to a, a wedge between the couple. They split sort of thing. And then everybody comes back holding each other's hands and cuddling sort of thing. It's, you know, you could, you could literally, it feels like it's been kind of written uh, by an AI almost at times. It just doesn't, I don't know. I just think it, it's tried too hard rather than, tried to be entertaining if that if that makes sense um but i think it's worth checking out if you if if, if it sounds interesting to you uh, just be wary really i suppose it's it's um at times a little bit uncomfortable to watch uh, which is a shame because i do think the film had absolutely bags of potential but anyway check it out if it interests you um, i will be back with loads more reviews and content on the channel very very soon